What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here. Today we're going to be taking a look at some sets that are retiring very shortly right off of lego.com's website. I was actually shocked to find out some of like some of the sets that are going to be retiring are actually really really good. So I thought I'd give you guys a heads up if you are planning on buying these sets buy them sooner rather than later because they are retiring soon. It says it right on the site. This is also going to help out the investor because I'm hoping to actually give you guys a little bit of insight on some of these sets briefly and why you should invest in them or why you should maybe steer away. Uh, but enough talk, let's get right into it. And to kick us off, we'll begin by actually going straight to their website. And what's really interesting I just found out about this. If you type in retiring soon, it'll actually bring up all the sets that are going to retire. So I was surprised that Lego actually does that. I thought it's a very good tool in case we're you know, trying to find out which sets are retiring soon. So the first one we're going to take a look at is the roller coaster. So if you're planning on buying this set, pick it up now. This is very very cool looking. I believe it's the largest roller coaster made by Lego and I do believe it's going to do really well. A lot of these creator expert sets do fantastic on the aftermarket so if you're planning on investing on it I feel it's a very strong choice. The next set that we'll actually take a look at is the Bugatti and it's no surprise that large-scale car sets do well on the aftermarket. So the Bugatti I think is a very strong choice. It is Technic which makes it a little iffy but it's still it's a beautiful looking model. So if you're looking to buy this as a collector pick it up now because I think it's going to be worth a ton of money in the next year. I wouldn't be surprised if this set doubles triples in money down the road. The next set we'll take a look at is a personal favorite of mine. It's the Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage. I own this one personally and it is awesome. I mean, if you're looking for something that really captures Jurassic Park, this is the set. So pick this one up now. It is retiring soon. That's what it says. And as an investment, I think it's going to do really well as well. Jurassic Park is pretty popular. And this is one of the most iconic things from Jurassic Park being the Tyrannosaurus Rex, as well as the main gates. You get six of the main characters. Overall, very strong, strong set to invest in and if you're a collector pick this one up now. The next one we'll be taking a look at is the Corner Garage. Most modulars, I've never seen one modular do poorly on the aftermarket. I don't think that this is going to be an exception. This is one of my least favorite modulars if I'm being perfectly honest. I don't think it's bad. I just am not particularly into the garage part of this set but I still think it is quite good looking and there's not enough here to go and deter it from not being a top set to invest in. So pick this one up and if you're a modular collector like myself, buy this one. I will probably have to dish out the money. Fortunately, it's not too, too much money. So I hope to buy this one soon. The next one is another favorite of mine. It's the Upside Down. I love Stranger Things and this is such a unique model. You get basically the two worlds that you know, make up Stranger Things if you've watched the TV show. It is the largest and uh, they made a promo, but it's basically the only main Stranger set they've ever made. And I think that this is going to do extremely well in the aftermarket. It's very unlikely Lego is going to make this anytime soon. Pick this one up if you're an investor. Pick this one up if you're a collector. Again, I'm shocked by this list. How many great sets are retiring soon? And uh, this one's no exception. Definitely an overall great looking model. The next one we'll be taking a look is for those who love Star Wars being the A-Wing Starfighter. This is actually a pretty good looking ship. I've heard there's a lot of Technic that makes the interior of it. So if you don't like Technic and you're a collector and you don't really want to go through building that, maybe steer away from it. But the overall design of it, once it's built, looks really, really good. And if you're an investor, I've never seen one UCS Rebel ship do poorly on the aftermarket. So pick this one up. It will not disappoint. So, and it doesn't go for all that much, 260 Canadian or about 200 US. Definitely a solid set to maybe pick up. Unfortunately, most of these sets are large that are going to retire soon. So if you are an investor, you're going to have to have some space. But I still think that they're, well, they're going to do great on the aftermarket. It's just you're going to have to have somewhere to stick them. The next set we'll take a look at is the James Bond 
Aston Martin. With the new James Bond that just came out, I think that this is really gonna help bolster this set. So this one I actually, I don't know if it's number one, I'd say, out of these sets retiring soon, but it's definitely in the top five, if not the top three. And if you're a collector and you like 007, pick this guy up. Again, I think it's going to be worth a ton on the aftermarket. It is retiring soon, like it says, and it's just an overall very nice looking model. I was surprised to see how small it was because I do actually own it and I have it sealed. But regardless, I think it's going to do really well. It actually has some pretty cool features with this car. Overall, Definitely pick this one up. Now moving on to the next one, we have the London bus. Much the same as any of the car vehicle sets. They generally always do really well in the aftermarket. This one really reminds me of the Volkswagen Beetle they brought out and that set's actually worth a ton online now. So I feel that this is gonna be somewhat similar to that. And uh, if that's the case, this is gonna appreciate a ton. And if you're that collector, pick this one up. You don't wanna pay a ton of money for it. The next one I'm not too keen on it's the Marvel Studios Iron Man. These painting-like sets, we don't have a lot of history with how well they'll do on the aftermarket, so bear that in mind if you're planning on collecting, or I mean buying this as an investment. If you're a collector, just go out and buy this right off the bat because it's retiring soon and it probably will appreciate, you know, pay more for it on the aftermarket. Most Lego sets, you know, they appreciate over time, unless they're maybe city sets. So yeah, definitely pick that one up. The next one is the Gingerbread House. And yeah, I know a lot of people love this set. It is quite cute looking. With holidays coming up, or holidays just in general, I can see this being very popular. And in the future, people are gonna wanna have this for holidays, so. Yeah, strong choice overall. And if you're looking at buying this as a collector, pick this one up, because I feel it's gonna appreciate. Another one which I actually really have to get on and maybe purchase is the Dinosaur Fossils set. This is very unique. I've never seen LEGO do anything quite like this, at least not with dinosaurs. You get a you know, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Triceratops, Pterodacto. This almost reminds me of Johnny Thunder, at least the skeleton. Yeah, this is, I feel gonna do well. It's not too large either, it's only 80 bucks and I feel it is an idea set. A lot of times the idea sets do well in the aftermarket. And if you're a dinosaur lover, if you're into skeletons, buy this one if you like that in Lego because it's retiring soon. The next one is the Harley Davidson Fat Boy. It's an interesting name for a motorcycle. Again, same thing as most car sets. I think that this falls into the same category. It is going to do well on the aftermarket. I don't have much doubt in that. Pick this one up if you're an investor. And if you're a collector, pick this one up. Like we've been saying, these sets I feel are gonna appreciate. I'm shocked, again, to see how many of these sets retiring soon are actually strong investment choices. And the last one that we'll talk about that I feel will do well on the aftermarket is the Ship in a Bottle. Bear in mind that this is a re-release. They have made this set twice. So because of that, there may be quite a few of them on the aftermarket, which it's gonna take some time for this to appreciate. But I own this set, I built it. Very nice looking model. I could see someone sticking on a shelf for display. So if you're a collector, get this one now because I don't believe there's gonna be another re-release of it. And if you're an investor, I think it's gonna be solid. Just bear in mind again, I'm not sure how many of these are in circulation. That's the only thing since it has been released twice. But if you're willing to wait, hold on to it for a couple years. I feel that this is definitely gonna appreciate it's not that large either, so you don't have to worry too much about space. And then the next sets that are retiring are not worth talking about. The Celebration Bag Charm, and the rest of them that are all out of stock. But that pretty well does the video, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on these sets that are retiring soon. Maybe which one's your favorite. If you disagree or agree on certain sets I think are strong investment choices, what was very surprising about this list is basically every set that's retiring soon I feel is going to do very, very well in the aftermarket. But again, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on it. Always interested to hear your guys' feedback. But yeah, that pretty well does the video. But if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future to invest or not to invest or sets retiring soon. This is kind of a hybrid episode. Hopefully it helps you guys out and you pull the trigger sooner rather than later so that these sets don't retire on you and you end up paying double what they're worth. 
But yeah, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.